Hi everyone, MJ here with another SketchUp plugin for you. In today's video, I'll show you how to use the Through Paint tool from the Frito Tools plugin. This is absolutely the best free tool for UV mapping inside SketchUp. As you know, SketchUp doesn't always apply the texture materials as we would expect it to. It doesn't have a problem with rectangular faces, but once the faces become more organic, it goes all over the place. Through Paint works wonders in these cases. So like I said, Through Paint comes with Frido tools and you access it here. But if you want to skip this step, you can also enable its dedicated icon by going under default parameters and checking this little box here. You'll just need to restart SketchUp and there you have it. This is the Through Paint tool right here in the toolbar. So let's begin by talking about the UV painting modes. This one is Quad Mesh UV. The texture will follow the quad mesh with all its deformations. You need to remember to select your material before activating the tool. See that the lines follow the deformation of the mesh. This next mode, Natural UV, doesn't deform the texture but keeps its continuity. See that the lines now stay parallel to themselves and do not follow the mesh. And then there is projected UV mode that just projects the flat texture onto our mesh. This one does a perfect job if we don't want to deform our texture, but it's quite useless when our faces become round, like in this case, for example. So all these tools work best with quad geometry, but in most cases they do a fine job with triangle or n-gon geometry as well. If you click on a surface you've already painted, you get this gizmo that lets you rotate your texture, position it to a likings, and scale it both uniformly or on just one of the axes. This final UV mode lets you change the texture material but keep the existing UV map. See that our red squares have inherited our one axis scale deformation of our previous material. And with this knowledge you're good to go to play around with this plugin. But if you want to know more, I'll show you briefly just what are these other options and all these little buttons on this toolbar for. In the materials section, we've got the eye drop tool to sample the material from the faces of the model without the UV mode on the left, and next to it the same tool but with the UV mode. Then we have the arrows to set the next and previous material as current, and lastly, this little button to set the default material as current. In the selection section, we are in face paint mode, but you can also choose edge paint mode and component group text paint mode, each with its own context menu. Most of you are going to use face paint mode, so we'll stick with that one. Here we have face by face mode, it's the one we've been using until now. In this mode, you simply need to pre-select all the faces you want to apply your texture material to. But if nothing is pre-selected, you can use this mode to paint your material face by face. This next one, surface select mode, lets you paint over multiple faces if they're smooth. This mode right here paints over all connected faces. This one paints over all connected faces with the same material. And this last one paints over all connected faces with the same material and with the same UV mode. This next section is about what faces we want to paint. These three are front faces, back faces, both front and back, and this fourth one is visible faces. You need to be careful when choosing this mode. In this case, for example, we get very strange and unwanted results since some of the faces we want to paint are facing the camera and others are facing in the opposite direction. This last icon is a switch that, when enabled, automatically flips the orientation of the face according to the orientation of the adjacent face. Okay, we're almost at the end. I want to show you just this last thing. When this A labeled switch is enabled, every time you activate this standard SketchUp Paint Bucket tool, it will take you immediately to Through Paint Toolbar, which is kind of cool. And if you still want to use the native tool instead, you just click on this icon right here. So that's it folks, I know I haven't gone into every little thing about this crazy good UV mapping plugin, but I wanted to make this as short as possible by still going over 
the most important uses of it. If this isn't enough for you, there are more than enough 30 minute long tutorials about it on YouTube. I believe this is enough for most users. I want to thank you for watching and feel free to check out my Patreon page, link in the description where amongst other things uh, you can get access to a download section of all my models from all my old videos and all the videos to come. The lowest membership is just $1 per month and it would help me a lot to keep making these videos for you guys. Thank you so much for supporting this channel and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, as always, until we meet again.